Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show. You know, <clears throat> there's a difficult subject to tackle right here. It's the Detroit Pistons of the National Basketball Association. They are in the midst of a 24-game losing streak after losing to the Atlanta Hawks Monday night, 130 to 124. The NBA record is 28 games held by the Philadelphia 76ers. They possibly could become the worst team in NBA history. Now, for those who don't believe me, I want to let you know I am not instigating this conversation. I am a fan of Pistons head coach Monty Williams, who's in the midst of a $78 million contract that he signed last season to become the head coach for the Detroit Pistons. Let me just say this right now. His agent is looking pretty good. It's not his fault. He's a great coach as far as I'm concerned, a damn good coach at the very least. But this record is bad. It's very, very bad. And right now, when you look at the two highest paid NBA coaches, Greg Popovich and Monty Williams, and you see the recent 18-game loser streak the Spurs were on, Greg Popovich has got five years, $80 million. Monty Williams got six years, $78.5 million. But Greg Popovich has five NBA championships to show for it. Monty Williams has won the trip to the NBA Finals a couple of years back coaching the Phoenix Suns. A job, by the way, I don't believe he should have lost. But that is beside the point at this particular moment in time. This is historically bad. This is so bad, ladies and gentlemen. This is so bad that the Wall Street Journal had that as a headline. Are the Detroit Pistons the worst team in NBA history? That was the headline. Why would they ask such a question? Because over the last 49 games, the Detroit Pistons, dating back to last season, over the last 49 games, they are 4-45. Four 4-45. and 45. Four and 45. They haven't won a game since late October. It's been more than a month and a half since they won a game. Seven weeks, damn near to be exact. I mean, I don't know what to say. Kay Cunningham is the number one overall pick. James Wiseman is the number two overall pick. You got some young bloods on this squad. I don't know what the hell is going on. But it's bad. It's very, very bad. And I'm going to bring back the Wall Street Journal. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wall Street Journal is about news and politics. Yeah, they have some sports articles here and there. But they're talking about the war in Ukraine. They're talking about immigration and the crisis permeating through the streets of America because of crime and what have you. Not that all of it or most of it is associated with immigration, by the way. I'm just talking about the bunch of subjects that are lumped into their coverage. They don't talk about sports too often unless something historic is going on. Or in this case, historically bad.